Hi, I'm Anthony Varnell. I'm an assistant wrestling coach at Menlo College. I, I have uh, been a two-time national champion, and now I get to give back to the athletes that I coach. This is our journey at the 2015 NAIA National Tournament. This year, we had seven wrestlers qualify for the national tournament. We're about to take a look into four of their journeys throughout the tournament. At 133 pounds, we have Brian Ha. At 141 pounds, we have Steel Escobedo. At 165 pounds, we have Eric Lopez. And then uh, our heavyweight, 285 pounds, Scott Brazil. Day before the tournament, the guys are about to check their weight, see uh, see where we're at. Sometimes scales can differ, so we brought we brought a scale, but we want to check on an official scale just to make sure the weights are okay. Uh, I'm a little over, but yeah, just mostly water weight. Pretty under. Uh, worked out last night, so fell asleep, still pound over and woke up. Weight cutting goes hand in hand with the sport of wrestling. Uh, you see it a lot in high school, where you have kids crash dieting, losing you know, a mass amount of weights uh, in a short period of time. Uh, and, and, you know, I can't say anything different for myself. There was times where I was, you know, 100, 105 degree uh, weather in the summer, you know, sweats, sweat, sweatshirt, sweatpants, you know, running, sweating, but it's not the proper way of doing it. You can't compete, you can't perform when your body's under those kind of um, extremes. None of the guys are struggling with weight. They're a little bit overweight. This exercise is gonna help them with that, but you know, they're all very disciplined athletes, so their weight's close, you know, they don't struggle. Wrestling is a very physical contact sport. Uh, it, there's, a, there's a lot of injuries that can happen, you know, anything you get in. A lot of different positions, you know, there's not one injury that's maybe more common than another. Myself, I've had you know, two ACL replacements, uh, shoulder surgery, rotator cuff. So, I mean, injuries are common, um, you know, they happen every year. All our guys right now are, are banged up. If you're at this tournament and you're, you feel 100%, you probably weren't training properly. There's a lot of guys here that are, that are beat up, um, that just goes with the turf. Excited, huh? nervous, and we're, or just to get healthy. Hopefully, uh, I'm ready. All the time for tomorrow. There's gonna be certain matchups that are gonna be tough for some of our guys, but we gotta take one match at a time. You know, you can't overlook anybody. Everybody's tough, so we gotta go out there and just wrestle hard from the first whistle, ready to attack, look to score points, be offensive. It's a, it's a little bit before nine o'clock right now. The, the wrestlers are going through a skin check, make sure that they don't have any, you know, skin conditions that they can pass from one athlete to the other. After that, they'll, uh, they'll step on the scale, get their weight checked. Uh, if everybody's, you know, on or underweight, they'll, they'll be good. They'll be cleared. They can go get some liquid in them, a little bit of food, nutrition, and get get warmed up and get ready for this uh, next session to start. The team's feeling really good. You know, I can see it in their eyes. They're ready to wrestle. Um, you know, at this point, you know, they're a little bit nervous, but that's normal. That's good. Um, they just got to go out there and compete, really, you know. These guys are ready to wrestle. Uh, they're all prepared. Now, now the proof's in the pudding. Let's, let's see what they got. Do you have a that you can go? You guys need to go out there and go wrestle as hard as they can, leave everything on the mat. Uh, you know, they can't be nervous. You can't go out there and try to not lose a match. You have to go out there and try to dominate your opponent. If we're attacking, we're pushing pace, that puts us in good position. We'll be successful if we do that. As soon as the guys start um, trying to, to hold back or to wrestle, to not lose, be defensive, that's when things can fall apart. Uh, Joel, our 133 pound wrestler, one of them just lost his first round match. You know, he was too timid, he was hesitant on getting to his techniques, his positions, his attacks. Um, 
and it costed him the match. You know, he wrestled hard, uh, but we got to be ready to go from the first whistle. You know, we got to get our attacks going, you know, our techniques, and being the aggressors in these matches. It's a it's a double elimination tournament, so he's still in it. He's got a lot of wrestling to do if he wants to become an All-American, if he wants to place the top eight in this tournament. Uh, but he can do it, so it's, it's up to him. You know, it's, it's pretty disheartening not uh, reaching your goal or not having everybody wrestle to the best of their, their abilities. But not everybody can win all their matches. We have still a Scabito, 141-pound wrestler, coming up next. Coaches don't specifically instruct our wrestlers to attack or target that injured area. We do tell them to wrestle harder, push the pace, um, and try to break the opponent's will because a lot of times an injured wrestler isn't as focused on the wrestling match. Came out a little slow, pulled it off in the end, kind of sloppy, but it's national, so it's going to be like that. I'm pretty happy with how it did. Coming up next, we have Eric Lopez. He's a senior, one of the most accomplished wrestlers in Menlo College history. This match is a rematch of the 2013 NAI National Finals, so it should be a, a really tough, tough matchup. It's just the same as the wrestlers, and you know it's it's sad to watch somebody go out there that you you know spend so much time with, somebody that works so hard and, and lays on the line every day to, to lose any time is it's, it's pretty sad. Right now he's battling through injuries. His uh, shoulder's banged up. It's been hurting him for a while, uh, but it's now or never. It's um, This is the last tournament of the year. It's a moment of pain for a lifetime of glory. What he has to do is he has to go out there, put his injury in the back of his head, um, and try, try to work around it, try to work through it. Wrestling today, uh, she's going to be an All-American. 
top eight in the country. We're just trying to figure out where, where they fall. We have two guys that are you know, we're trying to get to the third and fourth place match. Uh, got to end, end the day strong. We have uh, one wrestler, Eric Lopez, in the, in the semifinals. If he wins that match, he, uh, he'll be wrestling tonight um, for a national championship. He'll be a national champion. So it's a, it's a big day of wrestling. Overall, the team were in tenth place. So we got to finish the day strong. Uh, finish in the top ten in the country. The guys have been wrestling really good. They're hungry. So it should, it should be. It should make for some very exciting wrestling. You know, you just got to have a short memory. You can't dwell on, dwell on your past losses. You got to get past it because the next guy's not going to have any sympathy for you. So you just got to go out there, put any past losses. Let downs behind you, get ready to wrestle. Eric took fourth place overall. He had a heartbreaking loss in the national semifinals. Our goal was for him to be a national champion, but he is a very accomplished wrestler. He is Menlo College's first three time All American. Ryan, uh, who wrestles at 133, just placed seventh in the country, so he's an All-American. I'm very, very proud of him. He's a kid that would come in early every single day to get extra work in. He's made great strides over the course of this year, and his hard work uh, led him to this accomplishment. It feels, uh, it feels good ending on a good, on a good note. You know, I mean, so much stuff on my shoulders, I just, threw it off. Felt good. Season's over. Feels good. I don't have to cut weight. I just work on wrestling. Have fun with it. What are you going to go do after this? Uh, eat a lot of food. And definitely eat a lot of food. Go to the bar, probably. I don't know. All sorts of fun stuff. We had three, three wrestlers place. Uh, we, we took seventh, sixth, and fourth. Uh, their respective weight classes. Um, overall, you know, it wasn't what we wanted. It wasn't what we were hoping for. We came here with seven wrestlers. Uh, three of them placed. Three of them earned All-American honors. We would have liked to see all seven, you know, re receive that same, receive those same accolades. But everybody can't win. You know, this tournament's tough. And every year, you know, people get upset. People lose that shouldn't lose. People win that shouldn't win. And we'll come back next year strong, ready to go, more prepared, more experienced. It was, uh, it was a long two days overall. I'm very, very proud of the wrestlers that we have. They've been battling all year long. Uh, they, they, they're a great group of kids. Um, you know, I, I can't say enough about them.